All right, guys. Today on the new car, I'm going to be replacing the thermostat. And also, I'm trying my hand at this temperature sensor again, right there in the head. And I bought two new wrenches. I got a 21 and a 20. Because so far, everything else on this car has been in millimeters. But I think this, this sensor is 13 sixteenths. And after I got the new head, I realized that after it turns a little bit in the 21, and the 20 will not go in it. So, I'm going to be getting a 13 sixteenths and taking that off. Here's the new, uh, let me actually get it out of this package. Here's the new, um, let's see if I can get it to focus. Here's the new temperature sensor. As you can see, these you most of the time have to special order from the dealership because it's a one prong instead of having two prongs on the side. Because all it does is this sensor literally only projects temperature to the gauge. So it has nothing to do with the PCM or anything else. It's just this to the gauge and that's all it does. I can almost guarantee you that that thermostat was shut or stuck shut. Literally nothing drips out of this radiator hose here which whenever the thermostat opens this radiator hose fills up and it uh, sends coolant back through the radiator so not a drop came out in that thermostat I'll probably have to get it off off camera look at that old thing I got it out I had to use a pair of pliers to grab onto the top there it was pretty stuck in but all right time to put the new one in all right, I'm in it now with the freshly replaced thermostat. And this is a week later. Last week, everything seemed to be doing okay. But since the AC doesn't work, I can't manually turn on the fans using the AC. So I was waiting for a cool day to test it out to make sure that it's not overheating on its own. So, let's see. All right, so as you can see by the display, I've now put five miles on this car since I've had it. Not very many, but it is a work in progress, so let's see how it does. All right, real quickly, watch that temperature gauge. Watch, you accelerate, you know, it's going up, then you put on the brakes. Watch it, look, look at that. Something's definitely up with that gauge. PCM temperature is doing them fine. PCM's just at 152, but then that one, there's definitely something up with it. All right, I just parked it. PCM temperature steadied at about 219, 220. But I have a little coolant leak. Look at that. I didn't notice that before, but I guess also the thermostat wasn't opening. So. And it didn't have much coolant in it before, but. All right, as you can see, I just took off the headlight assembly. Got it right here. It was pretty bent. Let's see. See that over there compared to this side. I've got a new one that came with the car that I'm going to put on now. So, there we go. All right, let's take a look. Here's the new headlight assembly everyone works which honestly i had to replace three of them with the old light bulbs from the old um assembly there but as you can see they're all working and let me turn them off don't want to drain the battery too much but looky there